Phantom Liberty is getting a ton of new changes, with major systems getting entire reworks. We also gotta talk about a new 1.63 bug that hopefully will be addressed with the new update. Also, Phantom Liberty might have some major similarities with a movie. Keanu also gives his response on some future DLC potential. We got a lot to talk about. What's up, world streamer? Back in the video, I'm switching on all things cyberpunk. Okay, so first up, let's just jump into the stuff on the major changes that we're gonna see with the new DLC pack, as well as those entire system reworks. Now, so far that we know is Phantom Liberty will be a part of the map and not some island, but it will be significantly hard to get to. There's going to be a ton of quest variations, a lot more, or at least seemingly as much as that first mission quest that we saw back on release. Now, we also have some potential graphical changes that might be happening to Johnny as well. Now, these are entirely unconfirmed so far. It might just be a few graphical lighting changes that made it look different. However, a few of the anecdotals from the people that had some hand-on experience with the new DLC, seemingly there might be some changes to Johnny and some graphical updates. So we'll have to look out for those on release. They also entirely reworked how the HP system is going to work. They did a bunch of armor changes, as well as how the clothing works and the cybernetics. So now the clothing will no longer have armor tied to it or any stats at all. So that way you can put on any clothing you want. There doesn't even need to be a transmog system. And they entirely reworked the cybernetics. So now the cybernetics are going to be the base for your armor stats, your damage stats, as well as in combination with your weapons, of course. And apparently it's going to be a lot harder to heal as well. So before you could just spam that inhaler thing. But now it's going to be much harder to find those, and it's going to be less regen on your health. So that will definitely significantly change the way you play in certain scenarios. They're also making perks much more substantial. They should be much more influential to your gameplay. Maybe on release, I'll go in a deep dive with the perk system, and maybe even do some build guides as I have with Diablo. Now, they also entirely reworked the police system. So now the police will chase you on either vehicles or the surrounding area. They'll look for you. If you leave that area, they won't just spawn on top of you. So if you do something in the game that requires police attention, the police will show up there. They'll investigate the area. But if you've left that area, they probably more than likely won't find you. So sort of like it is in GTA. Now, also, apparently at five stars, there is a boss fight. So seemingly there's going to be a significantly big boss fight that will happen at five stars. However, from the hands-on account, I don't know if anybody or any of the early reviewers were able to get there. A lot of them were just focusing on the story, and unfortunately, a few didn't make it into the higher upper stars. Now, we do have that 1.63 bug, or at least seemingly some visual issues. It seems that since 1.62, there has been some visual issues with the eye catch lights. And some people are bringing up the excuse that path tracing is now a thing, and so you probably are not going to see catch lights ever reintroduced into the base model or the base visual graphics for lighting. However, that would be super unfortunate because I know, like myself, my GPU can't really handle ray tracing, so I always have that turned off. Especially probably path tracing. I only really have a 2070, so RTX is kind of like a no-go for me. So I really do hope they bring that back to the base lighting, as I typically can handle screen space reflections and things like that, but unfortunately for me, RTX is kind of off the table or ray tracing in general especially this new path tracing you could definitely tell the difference in the images so i hope they do fix this and bring this back to the regular lighting mode now there might be some major similarities between this new dlc and a movie that's been out which also was used in another game that kojima worked on which was metal gear solid snake and that's the 1997 movie escape from new york i noticed a bunch of people in the comments are going to go ahead and watch the movie and i probably will too but i do remember it pretty significantly of course you're saving the president's daughter in some really sketchy area as well as what phantom liberty is it will be kind of cool to see those similarities there so that might be a go for you if you kind of want to check something out before the dlc releases now keanu did give his statement on some futures for dlc potential and if this is his last dlc and on his returning for the new DLC, he said he's got one more in him. Which is really good to hear because I hope they do expand on the story quite significantly. Now he did say this with John Wick a few times, so we'll see if there's even more potential there. But it is good to know that he will be returning. At least he likes the video game scene, and I think he could add some more significance to it. I know there's a lot of controversy around him being in the series, but I actually did quite enjoy him in the game itself. Or the standalone version before the DLC. Now apparently a Reddit user by the name of Brett Jr. found this little tiny secret spot or a weird animation that plays while he's running down this specific spot on the street. And seemingly this has happened to other people. There's some weird animation that plays here, or at least it's the fainting animation while you're running. And so yeah, as he's running down the street here, he completely faints. Or what V would do normally when anything was happening with the cutscene with Johnny when they were going through that pain period. Basically those intense moments that you had with Johnny. However, here nothing seems to happen. It does seem like there's a gap in the road here, so it is kind of cool that an animation plays. But I do wonder if there was supposed to be some story here that eventually got cut. Seeing as there was a ton of things that were cut already. Who knows if this had any significance or if this was just a funny animation to play for tripping over something. Now they did also clarify that there's not going to be any romances as a part of the new DLC. So they're not going to expand on anything going there. 
However, they did clarify that there's a ton of other things to explore, so we'll have a ton of different stuff to do with the DLC. Now, apparently there's been some confusion between what update version is going on, either it's 1.7 or is it 2.0. However, we do have a screenshot here that says in order to install Phantom Liberty, the game must be updated to 2.0 version. Once you updated the game, you can begin installing additional content. So we do have some clarification that it is actually the 2.0 update and not the 1.7 as people have speculated before. So it seems like we will get an additional patch before the actual September update update happens, or at least version 1.7, which will be the last update for the base game. CDPR apparently also never confirmed if it was 1.7 or 2.0, so it is to note that we may or may not get a 1.7 update, but probably so since it's three months away. Hoping that they fix that eye-catching bug from earlier. Now apparently we also maybe have a confirmation that Grimes or Lizzy Wizzy is coming back to Cyberpunk in Phantom Liberty, as we have a tweet here from Grimes saying, I'm back in Night City. And this was on June 13th, so supposedly Grimes is going to be back as well and we'll have to see how her story ties in. We did also get a confirmation on who the voice actress is for Songbird, and it's an English voice actress by the name of Minji Chang. Hope I'm pronouncing that right, if not, I'm very sorry. Some people were curious on some examples of her work, so I'll leave a link down below on her page and voice work that she's done before. And we also have confirmation that CDPR is working on their new project sequel, Project Orion, which is beginning its R&D phase in 2024. So it is to know if Keanu does continue that he probably won't be working on a DLC for Cyberpunk, but more so helping out CDPR with their Project Orion, which is shaping up to be a sequel to Cyberpunk 2077. It is pretty cool to know that Keanu Reeves is probably returning for another game with Cyberpunk. And hopefully since they have the base game already, we won't have to wait another 7-8 to eight years for the new one. Although Cyberpunk 2077 only really had 4 years of actual development, as that first trailer for the announcement for Cyberpunk 2077 wasn't the actual start of the development for the game. So we should see it maybe around 2028 or even 2029. I am curious if you guys are starting a new character, I'm not sure what I want to do yet, I kind of want to maybe play through the entire game again as the DLC approaches. However, I don't really want to burn out, so I don't know if I do that either. Maybe I'll just play from where my character started, or maybe I'll even start a whole new game once the DLC comes out. Not too sure yet, but I am curious on what you guys are doing. I'll probably run a poll closer to the release date, but let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you guys are curious on if I do some build guides like I have for Diablo 4. Also, let me know if you guys are going to watch that Escape from New York movie, as I might have to check it out as well. I'm kind of curious if how well it will align with the actual game and if it will have some similarities from the movie or even some tropes, as well as maybe even some Easter eggs. But that does about cover for today's video, and if you like, I like, I like, and subscribe, and until the next one. Deuces.